Russian military began to surrender more often. During March this year, the Russian military applied for surrender twice as often as compared to December last year. Vitaly Matvienko, an employee of the Coordinating Headquarters for the Treatment of Prisoners of War, spoke about this. Radio Liberty writes, he attributes the increase in the number of appeals to the expected counter-offensive of the armed forces of Ukraine, as well as to significant losses among Russians at the front. The peak of appeals took place in March of this year. We recorded more than 3,000 appeals, and this trend continues in April. In December 2022, we recorded 1.5 thousand appeals. In March, more than 3,000, Matvienko said. He also added that during the seven months of its existence, more than 15,000 Russian servicemen and their families have applied to the I Want to Live project. The Russian military can turn to representatives of this project if they want to surrender and save their lives. It is noted that in Ukrainian captivity, the Russian military receive food, a medical examination and the opportunity to communicate with relatives. In September 2022, as part of the work of the Coordination Headquarters, the Unified Center for Receiving Appeals for Surrendering, I Want to Live, and the Round the Clock Hotline for Receiving Appeals from the Russian military and their families were launched. Russians are guaranteed maintenance in accordance with the norms of the Geneva Conventions. In December, Ukrainian intelligence said that more than one million 200,000 people used the information resources of the I Want to Live project, most of them in the territory of the Russian Federation.